If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform these plain shot glasses into these lovely personalized glamour blinged out shot glasses, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube. So today in this video, I am going to be embellishing these new shot glasses. I just purchased these off Amazon. I got a set of 30 for about $25. I had some other shot glasses. I don't know where I put them at, so I just bought more. But I bought a different style. These have more like a square look to them. Um, and they have like a, a nice little one layer thickness at the bottom. They're just so cute and very like durable. And this is just gonna be a really quick gift for my sister-in-law and her favorite color is blue. And she has like a little ladies lounge at her house that she hooked up really cute. So I'm just going to, and she calls it Mrs. T's Lounge. I cut this out a little too big, but I'm gonna try my best to make it work anyway, just to see. I have some five millimeter blue uh, rhinestones. I'm gonna be using liquid fusion glue. I have this uh, wax pickup tool I'm gonna be using. I'll have a link available for that and for the rhinestones. And then I have this Sharpie. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just color the bottom area on. I'm gonna go ahead and color the bottom area with this Sharpie just to have a fuller look for where I'm going to add the rhinestones. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead. This part is absolutely optional. You don't have to color it in. You can just go ahead and add the rhinestones to the glass without doing this. I previously cut this out on my Silhouette Cameo, but it was way too big. I tried to do it anyway, it was a fail. And it was a slightly crooked, so I, I adjusted it towards the end of the video. You'll see what I did differently. When I had the wording that big, I originally thought I could only add one roll of rhinestones. So I ended up taking that off and putting just the Miss T's. And I came up three rows, I believe, eventually, which look a lot better than just the one row. But keep in mind, if you wanna go up five rows, or if you wanna use a smaller rhinestone or a bigger rhinestone, that's completely up to you how you do it. But I think this is a four millimeter. Four millimeter or a five millimeter will still work. Um, and you can do this personalized shot glass based on the color that your customer requests, or based on the color, if it's a gift, that your friend or your loved one likes. I don't remember if I said this in the beginning, but I am using liquid fusion glue. You can also use E6000 if you like to. I like the liquid fusion on glasses, not on shoes, but on glasses and like plastics, it's really, really good. And it doesn't have that harsh smell. I believe it's actually non-toxic, but it does cost three times more than E6000. So if that's a factor or make or break deal for you, deal breaker, then um, consider that as well. A little on the pricey side. And I can only find it on Amazon.com for about $12. That's the only place. I can't find it in um, my local craft stores. It was crooked, so I just pulled it off. It was too big, but I tried and tried and tried to get it to be the perfect font. I just have to leave the word 
lounge off. It said Mrs. T's lounge at first, but I just can't. The word lounge just kept messing up every time I get smaller and smaller with the font. It just doesn't read properly. But anyway, this is what I have. I have Mrs. T's, so I think that'll still, of course, work out. This is still drying. Um, I was originally going to just do the one row. I decided to go with three rows because I thought three rows was um, good to do. You can come up however many rows that you see fit. Halfway, further down, one row, whatever you like to do. And just to give you an idea of a different style um, and different rows you can do, I have already done a, um, I've already done a shot glass video before. You see the difference? This one sits taller. It's a different shape, of course. It's broken, don't mind that. Um, and I came up quite a few rows on here because it had that thick glass look right here. It's not deep. See how my finger stops right there? All that glass there, I wanted to cover all that up. So that was my main reason for coming up so far. So I did, I came up eight rows on here. This is just three rows. This doesn't have that big thick glass. This is a 1.5 ounce or one ounce. This is a two ounce shot glass. You can purchase these off Amazon. But yeah, these make cute, wonderful, just real pretty gifts. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, if you look inside of my playlist, then you'll be able to find the video for this. And maybe I'll, I'll link it below this video. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to get the Mrs. T's on there. This is still drying, so I don't wanna disturb that. I probably should wait, but let me just go ahead. And I cut this out with my Silhouette Cameo. I'm gonna make sure I line this up. Then you just wanna kinda smooth that on there the best way you can. Um, I need to get like a real smoother for this. So just take your time. Make sure that it's smooth on properly, and then we're gonna pull it off. I'll pull this off and review. Hey you guys, here is the finished final result of these shot glasses. I think they are like super, super cute. I really like the blue. I like how the blue vinyl matches like identical. My sister-in-law, like I said, she loves blue. She has her own little she shed out in her garage and it's like super nice and glamorous. So I thought why not make her some shot glasses to enjoy while she's in her ladies lounge. Now this is something you can make as a gift to someone um, for any, absolutely any occasion. Like really, they're so, so cute. And these are like really heavy. They're very, very durable. Now you can also give these as a gift in a set of two, or if you wanna sell them, you know, you could do a set of two, or you can do a set of four. So that's like the really cool thing about this as well. And you get 30 of these, and they were under $25 on Amazon. So I thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it and received some really cool ideas or some inspiration. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it on Facebook if possible. Subscribe to this channel if you like to. If not, thank you so much for stopping by. I am like a handful of subscribers from 7,000, so hopefully by the time I post this, I'll have 7,000 subscribers. Thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you to my old subscribers. Thank you to everyone. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Also, remember to check the links in my description area if you're interested in the wax pickup tool. I do have those for sale. And also, if you'd like to purchase some rhinestones, I have those for sale as well. 
And if you're interested in buying rhinestones in bulk or wholesale, I do finally have my vendors list available for sale. There's also a link for that also. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. Be sure to check out my playlist that I have available. If you're interested in videos like this, I have a ton of videos um, embellishing wine glasses, wine bottles, liquor bottles, shoes, whatever you could think of. I have videos embellishing quite a few things, so go ahead and check those out.